This is question two on chemistry from the 2014 BMNET. So we're asked which of these are redox reactions? So firstly, copper sulfate and zinc form copper and zinc sulfate. Then hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide form sodium chloride and water. Then magnesium and sulfuric acid form magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. Then lead nitrate and potassium iodide form lead iodide and potassium nitrate. So firstly, what is a redox reaction? It's a reaction where something is reduced while something else is oxidized. And so which of these are redox? And how do we work it out? So we need, we need to look at the oxidation states of each element in these and see if they change throughout the reaction. And so how do we work out oxidation states? We use a set of rules, which we need to remember. And what are these? So firstly, any element by itself is zero oxidation state. So we have zinc, copper, magnesium, and hydrogen, which are all zero. Next, what about oxygen? We know this is always minus two. So let's put all these in, except when it's in a peroxide, but there are no peroxides here. And what's next? How about hydrogen? We know that when hydrogen is in a compound, it's plus one. So let's put these in, except when it's in a metal hydride, but there aren't any metal hydrides here. And what about halogens? We have chlorine and iodine present, and we know that when these are in a compound, they are minus one. We also have some group one metals, that's sodium and potassium. And what are these when they're in a compound? That's plus one. And we have a group two metal, that's magnesium. What is this? That's plus two. So we've applied all the rules that we can, so let's try and work out for ourselves what the rest of the oxidation states are. So. Let's start from the top. What's copper in this? Well, we know the sulfate ion has a minus two charge, and so copper must be plus two to compensate for that. And we have zinc sulfate at the end, so we know zinc is also going to be plus two. And so that just leaves sulfur to work out. What is this? Well, we have four oxygens that are each minus two, and we know sulfate is two minus, so what is sulfur? That must be plus six. And because it's the same version of sulfate here, we know that's plus six as well. So that's reaction one done. Reaction two, we've already completed but just by using our rules. Then what about reaction three? So it's just the sulfur that's missing. And because it's the same sulfate we had before, we know it's gonna be plus six here and plus six here. And finally, what about lead in this? Well, we know the charge of the nitrate ion is minus one and we have two of them. So lead has to be plus two. What about the lead here? Well, we know iodide is minus one and we have two. So again, lead is plus two. So that just leaves nitrogen that's not completed. So what is it here? We've got two nitrates that are each minus one charge. And we know that each oxygen is minus two. So three minus two is a minus six. And to get to minus one over rule, nitrogen needs to be plus five. And because it's the same nitrate that's here, we know that's plus five as well. So we've assigned all the oxidation states which is maybe overkill for this question, but we can at least be sure that we can see if anything's being reduced or oxidized. So firstly, what about reaction one? Well, copper is going from plus two to zero, so it's being reduced. And what about zinc? It's going from zero to plus two and it's being oxidized. So this is indeed a redox reaction. Now reaction two, we have all of the elements this side in the same oxidation state as they're in this side. It's just a simple acid-base reaction, so this is not redox. Reaction three, we can see we've got magnesium zero going to magnesium two, and we've got hydrogen one going to hydrogen zero. So similarly to reaction one, this is redox. And finally, in reaction four, the lead is always plus two, the iodine is always minus one, nitrogen is always plus five, and this is just a simple ion substitution reaction, so it's not redox. So we have one and three as redox reactions, which corresponds to answer B on the question paper.